So, of course, the Miata decides to break down at the best times. Um, it is currently 15 to 12. The coolant hose pretty much popped off. Well, not popped off, but it's loose. It's just gonna be really short, but um, I haven't been posting anything in about five days, and uh, I'm about to start rebuilding the whole Miata, like engine wise. So that's coming soon, but um, yeah, so this freaking hose decides to come off. Not come off. This freaking hose decides to loosen up, and it was spraying water everywhere. And it also got on the uh, alternator belt, which also runs the water pump. So uh, it started squealing really bad, and my temp gauge actually went towards the cold side, so I knew something was up. The hose is right down there. It's hard to point at because I'm going to be burned if I put my hand in there. But um, it's the hose right next to the crankshaft pulley that has not one, but two hose clamps on it. And somehow it's still leaking, so I'm just going to try to tighten it down, and I'm about like 15 minutes away from home. So I'm going to just try to limp it home. So somehow, um, I just messed with these clamps like an hour ago, and I tightened both of them down. But I don't know if you guys can see that, where the screwdriver is. But this thing is just totally loose. Some bullshit. But, hey. That's what you get for a cheap turbo build, right? I apologize, because uh, this is on my phone. I don't carry the good camera everywhere I go. So uh, bear with me with this bad quality. I don't really have a jack to jack it up, and this is literally the only angle I can get it from because it's too hot to go uh, inside the hood. But this is what I'm dealing with right now. So, yeah, so much fun. This water temp gauge right here looks great and actually functions really well. Um, I believe I paid like $12 for the water gauge, and then um, I bought that, and I also got this little coupling, not coupling, this little um, fitting right here that splashes into your radiator hose. And uh, the temp sensor goes in there, as you can see. Um, you can put it in your heater hose as well. I believe, yeah, I made a video on this a while back, but if you guys are looking for a cheap gauge to add to your car, get a water temp gauge, because it actually tells you what temperature your water is at, and um, the stock gauge doesn't really tell you much. All right, guys, so uh, we're gonna have some videos coming out this week. Um, there's rumors going around that Ian's gonna start uh, supercharging ZP3, so hopefully that's gonna happen soon, but um, I recently picked up a turbo for the Miata, RB20 turbo, same turbo that's in there. And uh, I'm gonna throw that in there soon, but first I need to get it welded because uh, it has a little weird fitting on it. And uh, this one's welded, so I need to get the one I have welded as well. But uh, I'm probably gonna start on that tomorrow. So a lot of videos coming on that. Um, we're about to hit 10,000 uh, 10, subscribers. Thank you guys so much, that's awesome. We're going to do something special for 10,000 subs. Probably like a big ass burnout or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, guys. So this is a little short video. Um, hopefully I can get this thing home. I can smell a coolant burning right now. And uh, it's obviously low on coolant because it leaks some out. And it, like, it's just it's just going crazy right now as far as the tone gauge goes. Whenever you're driving your car, you can troubleshoot so much by just smelling. Usually whenever a problem arises that's pretty serious, it'll have a smell. Coolant leaking or burning smells sweet. I can actually hear it burning right now. Uh, oil burning has a very distinct smell. Uh, transmission fluid smells terrible. And there's the water pump. Oh yeah, it sounds as well, guys. It sounds as well. You guys probably already know this, but I'm just sharing some advice for anybody that doesn't know, for the young crowd out there. But um, yeah, as you can hear, the water, oh shit, now it's overheating. Okay, it is overheated a little bit. Yeah, this is always a great sign. So, it's like straight up like hot as it can get right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not that hot. It's just because there's air in the system. But I shut the engine off and I have my hazards on. And luckily I'm going downhill. So, yeah. This kind of sucks, but I'll see what I can do. I'm probably going to turn into this parking lot right here, honestly. Let's see. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Oh, shit. I could've got a ticket for that. Okay. I'm just coasting right now. Uh, there is a Kroger right here, so maybe I can go inside there. Um, when you're in a pinch, 
and like you're leaking coolant out, you can use water. It's like it'll work just as well, if not better, but it's highly corrosive. So don't run just straight water like forever. <laughs> don't do it. But to get yourself home, it's okay. So I'm probably gonna go to Kroger and uh, buy like a gallon of it. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'm gonna try to get distilled. Yeah. I'll go ahead and try this. What is it? 89 cents? Good deal. I got the wallet. So I'm not sure if it's still leaking or if it's just because there's not enough water in there. I don't know. But as soon as I try to open that thing, it's gonna try to spew everywhere. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, first off, let me say that you're not supposed to do this while it's hot, but I gotta get home because it's 12.15. And yeah, so I'm gonna, it's really fucking hot right now, but I'm gonna take a rag and just slowly open it. Be really careful with it. Okay, I guess there's no pressure at the moment. Okay, cap is off. That's bad. There's no pressure at all. And as you can see, no, you guys can't see that, but it is very low. Shit. Yeah, there's like nothing in there. Okay. It's still leaking. That is a drop. Serious. Okay. So, whatever I pour is coming right back out, apparently. And it looks like I can't really tell. But, okay. It's just coming from that hose. Oh, the hose slipped off, that's why. Okay, that's great. So the hose came off. All right, so two gallons is still water later. I'm finally home. So I'll try this again. <laughs> thanks, thanks guys for watching. Peace out.